While many fans of basketball may say that there isn't a difference between men's and women's basketball, when it comes to popularity, the difference is major. According to the World Sports Network, in 2022, the NBA had an average crowd of more than 20,000 people per home game, while the game attendance for WNBA had approximately 10,000 fans for each of their home games. But one of the things that makes the WNBA so special is its diversity compared to the NBA. With players from over 53 different countries, the WNBA has seen countless participation with people all over the world. The WNBA has had many achievements since its creation in 1996, and some Red Hawks on campus are following in their footsteps. Being a woman in the sports industry can sometimes be a second priority, but this past weekend, Varsity Girls Basketball forever changed Frisco ISD and the team, according to Varsity Girls Basketball player JC Abi. I feel like it means a lot to the school, especially like that's like making history for not only our school, but our district too, just going back to back. But it just means a lot just saying that like, you know, we're setting an expectation, we're just setting a bar that's like really high for our school and our district and everybody else watching us. What made this experience even more special for the team was the recognition shown throughout campus and being able to have a back-to-back -back state title at the start of Women's History Month. We played the last day on, uh, you know, Black History Month, which, you know, so many people, uh, you know, obviously, the, you know, that history is not that long ago. Uh, in fact, it's ongoing and uh, represents so many of the kids and, uh, the, that we have and uh, that have opportunity today and to also be coming into Women's History Month. Uh, I, I, you know, it's, uh, that is kind of a special kind of couple of days. And so uh, I'm glad for our girls. I'm glad for our game because it's something that, you know, as it increases in popularity and gets, you know, NCAA basketball, even WNBA basketball is, kind of on the uptick and so you know, I'm just really proud that you know whatever small part that our kids get to play in that um, you know that, that it gets recognized and, and that they get to do it because our kids are really you know they're doing their best and um, you know hopefully people see uh, what they've accomplished is you know something special. This achievement being at the beginning of Women's History Month creates a different feeling and a feeling that many players on the team will feel after this moment in history. Studying history at the start of Women's History Month just makes it even more special and hopefully more people will um, notice and pay attention to like all the amazing things women, women in sports are doing and that they'll get um, highlighted and recognized even more. Just knowing that like, you know, people like boys in our district, they didn't do that, but like we did. We're just setting a bar that like is really meaningful for anybody in our district and I think that, you know, it's just like putting girls on the map, not only like as girls, but as girls who play basketball and just showing that, you know, I mean, it's not easy, but we could do it too, so yeah. My dad has a coworker that he talked to and she said that she loves seeing women empowerment and us winning state again. Women empowerment. Women empowerment can be seen throughout this experience again and again. And for varsity girls basketball player Judith Aluga, wins like these help continue to empower future generations of women. I feel like it'll be a good example for like our younger generation, um, especially because like um, I don't think of like this has never been done before, especially by like a girls basketball team. And I know like a lot of more attention goes to the men's sports over girls sports. So I don't know. I just think it's like sort of like will help empower like the younger, the younger generation of like liberty people so reporting for WTV I am Joaquin Perez